Over the years, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or MCU for short, has cemented itself as an important part of modern pop culture and cinema, introducing us to characters like Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor. It seemed for a while that each Marvel release would be a surefire hit, but recently, audiences are quite divided over the quality of recent projects. Some say it's the best this franchise has ever been, while others say Marvel has gotten stale. The main reason for this discourse is a chapter called Phase 4. Phase 4 is the name given to Marvel's slate of releases from 2021 to 2023. We asked several people what their first experiences were with Marvel prior to Phase 4. I first became a Marvel fan watching my first Marvel movie back in 2010. It was Iron Man 2. Honestly, I've been a Marvel fan for as long as I can remember. Like, growing up watching the Marvel shows like Spider-Man, X-Men, and stuff like that. Uh, I was a kid in the early 80s, and that's when the Secret Wars mm. were really hot. And that was a, uh, a run that the comics did, and there was a line of toys. So you had Spider-Man and Captain America, and that was kind of all over Toys R Us and the toy stores at the time. When asked if they agreed with the sentiment that Marvel is dipped in quality, they answered... Kind of. You know, I don't think it's a complete dip. I don't think the movies are getting worse. I think they're just getting weirder because it doesn't seem like there's a set path that they want to follow. I actually don't agree with that. I actually see Phase 4 more like a similar to Phase 1 in the sense that, like, it's a lot of setup right now. So right now, not everything's going to feel, like, connected and everything. Like, I understand people have that problem. But it is, I still feel like it's definitely more so set up for the next big problem that the heroes have to face. That doesn't stop them from listing the strongest projects. Personally, my favorite project out of Phase 4, I think, so far, even though I haven't really seen it yet, is probably Wakanda Forever. Well, I just saw it. Wakanda Forever. <laughs> I would say, I guess, the sequel to Black Panther has been greatly awaited and has gotten rave reviews. And the weakest. The weakest one, I hate to say it, I, you know, I think it was Ms. Marvel. I, I just think that there's... There, there wasn't particularly a lot of interesting stuff done in that series. Weakest, definitely Eternals is one of the weakest. Black Widow is also a pretty weak one. However, no matter the discourse, these fans still have hope for the future. Uh, what are you most looking forward to in the future of the MCU? Secret Wars, such a great story. There's, there's so many, so much potential. There's so many different characters you can explore. The X-Men, that's it. It's specifically the X-Men, and hopefully, we can get another try at the Dark Phoenix saga. Obviously, uh, I think Deadpool is mm -hmm. probably the most appealing character, and people would love to see him interact with other people, so I would like to see Deadpool. Despite some negative reception, it's clear Marvel intends on heading in new and wonderful creative endeavors. Whether the reception is positive is yet to be seen, but as a fan myself, I cannot wait for what the future brings. This is Eduardo Babuena, reporting for Mercy College News, signing off.